Good day people, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own transparent crop marks for Magic Lantern. Alright, I actually made a tutorial that's much quicker than this one, but in that tutorial I don't explain how to make them. I just explain the technique on making it transparent. So if you already know how to make grid marks, go ahead and watch that one. So one of the reasons why I wanted to download Magic Lantern for my camera was the fact that you could have crop marks while recording video. Now, in the default software for Canon's DSLRs, that's not a feature. So setting up the composition for every shot while recording, if you had moving subjects or that kind of thing, was, uh, well, you sort of had to guess it out. Um, but one thing I noticed once I downloaded Magic Lantern and I made my own crop marks is that there was no clear instructions on how to make transparent crop marks. Alright, so here we are on the website, which will be linked in the description below. Um, so here are the steps to creating crop marks. Um, and as you can see, the instructions on how to make them transparent, or semi-transparent, is kind of vague. So 0 and 16, I'm not sure what that is. Color 20, are they talking about color in here? Who knows? And down here it says something else about transparency. Yeah, pure black to semi-transparent. So, I did download the script, and it didn't work. Uh, I'm running a T3i slash 600D. So anyway, I came up with my own technique on how to make transparent, well I guess semi-transparent crop marks. So let's go through the process of making them. Okay, so here we're in Photoshop. Let's create a new file. Let's make it 720 by 480. A bit is good. SRGB. The website specifies to select don't manage this document, but I've done it with both and it doesn't really matter. Press OK. And now you have this screen which fits perfectly in the screen of your DSLR. So because you want a transparent grid mark, I'm assuming that you want a cinematic movie bar grid mark that allows you to see how the end result is going to look like. Um, so to get the proper aspect ratio, all you have to do is this. Now, I'm on Photoshop, so if you're not on Photoshop, steps might vary for you. Um, but basically, I'm sure there's a way to crop the image in whatever program you're in to uh, an aspect ratio. So this is how you do it in Photoshop. Uh, crop the image. I press C, you can press on the crop, crop image. Drop this down, click on ratio, and type in 2.35 by 1. And this gives you uh, the movie aspect ratio. Now, go ahead and confirm by pressing enter. There we go. Next up, control backspace or command backspace, I assume, for Mac. Next up, select all, control A, copy it, control C. Next up, go back to before the crop and then paste the image. Now that you have this black rectangle in the middle of the screen, go ahead and hold down control, click on the little icon, and then invert the selection, control shift I. Create a new layer, control backspace, and then make sure to deselect, control D, and then delete the middle rectangle. And there you have it. Okay, so one little detail I'd like to point out is that the crop mark does get hidden by what's not being used in the screen. This is what I mean. Um, so you'll most likely be viewing your video on the back of your camera in 16x9. And 16x9 ends right there. So this little part above the black, so here's the black, this gray part will not show up on the your camera screen. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so let's get on to making this transparent. Alright, so after many failed attempts at trying to do what the website was telling me to, I came up with my own way of making it transparent. So I thought, what if I alternate the pixels in a checkerboard pattern from white, which is transparent, and black, which is opaque? So if you alternate white, black, white, black, white, black, and make this checker pattern, you end up with a 50% opacity grid mark, which is perfect. But if that's still too light for you, you can always skip a couple pixels and you'll get a darker grid mark. Alright, so let's just get right onto it and fill out this whole entire bar with alternating pixels. I don't know what is the quickest way to do it in your program, but in Photoshop, here's the easiest way to do it. Start by making a few dots, anything that's manageable by hand. 
All right. Once you're happy with this, select everything. Control A. Next up, hold down Control Alt and then just drag it up. Now, if you let go, it it'll still be selected. And at this point, you can just hold down Control and drag it around. So place it where it needs to go, and you're done. Next up, deselect, Control A, and then once again, Control Alt, drag up to the right position, Control D, Control A, Control Alt, drag up, Control D, Control A, Control Alt, drag. And you'll notice that this uh, box of pixels are getting exponentially bigger every time you do this. So it starts off a bit slow, but then quickly picks up the pace. Alright, so I finished filling out these bars, which took me about a minute to do, and you'll notice that it's all checkerboard pattern. Uh, so what I like to do at this point, to add a bit more contrast to where the bars actually start when I look at it on my camera, I like to go ahead, zoom in, and then select the first couple rows of pixels, or you could select as many as you want. Uh, so I'd go for no more than four pixels, but I like to select the first two rows, and the quickest way of doing that is by selecting single row marquee, clicking on the first row, holding, holding down shift, and clicking on the second row. Next, making sure the black color is in the bottom, holding down control and pressing backspace to fill it in. I'll do the same at the bottom. This way, you just get a much neater separation between the actual bar and your image. Last tip, if you want to have the rule of thirds within the screen, here's how you do it. So go ahead and click on your movie bars, control and click on the icon, control shift I to invert the selection, and next up, press on C to crop it to that selection. As soon as it's in crop mode, simply click and you'll get the rule of thirds. At this point, go ahead and grab the rulers. If you don't see them, press Ctrl R and that should bring them up. Click and drag and then put it on top of the line. Repeat for all the lines. Once that's done, go ahead and select something else and don't crop. Now you have the perfect rule of thirds for this aspect ratio. Go right in and repeat the process of making lines. So select one, hold shift, select another one. Um, I like to make them too wide because it's a lot clearer on the camera screen. And then just go ahead and fill it in. Uh, before I continue, I'd like to say to uh, make that on a new layer because we will be cutting this out later and it'll just save us a headache. All right, so now that we have our rule of thirds put in, we can just hold down control and drag all the lines off the screen. And we're done, except that you'll notice one little problem and that's these bars up here. So all you have to do is go ahead and select them and because we're on a different layer, you can actually go right ahead and press delete. And there you have it. Let's export it and test it out. Now to export it, uh, I highly recommend watching a tutorial that shows you how to make them because they go in depth on how to do that. I just wanted to show how to make them transparent. So, you're going to go to Image, Mode, Index Color, press OK, go into Palette, Custom, Load, and then find where you saved the Magic Lantern Color Table, which will be in the website provided in the description. Find it, load it, press OK, press OK, and make sure it dithers off. And there you have it. Next up, just put it in your Magic Lantern folder, and you're done. So let's go right ahead and do that. So 
So in here are all the ones that I've made, and in here are all the ones that are on my camera. So at this point, once you save this image, simply drag it into your camera, and you're done. So as I said, let's go ahead and test it out. Alright, so I put the card in my camera, and first of all, I want it to load the grid mark that was just pure black to show you the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the trash can icon on my camera, navigate to the overlay tab, go on crop marks, enable it, press on the Q button, cycle through the crop marks, select the one I want, and go ahead, let it load, and you'll notice that it's pure black, and you can't see any detail through the crop mark. So I'm just going to go back into the menu, cycle through until I find the transparent one, which is right there, and now you'll notice it loads transparent. And that's how you do it. I hope you learned something, and if for some reason something doesn't work for you, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to help any way I can. I will be putting some crop marks up for download, so if you want to just get those instead and install them on your camera, that's up to you. But if you wanted to make some custom ones, now you know how. So with that said, if you liked, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps a lot, and as always, have a great day. Until then.